How's it going guys? This is Jay Nuda and today I'm just going to be showing you how to create an awesome I shouldn't lift it open, but an awesome uh, sound wave background for your desktop. So first you need to file new then you're going to go to your screen dimensions, background colour white and then all that good stuff. I'm going to name this sound name this sound effect so what you're going to do is you're going to get your paint bucket tool and you're going to put it into black. Uh, so like that. And then add a new layer. Uh, push out your walls into the middle. Just you can, You'll move them later, but just to be safe. And then you're going to get your line tool. It'll be generally be rectangle tool, but if you right click it and then click on line tool, you'll have it there. And make sure the colour is white. And then just uh, hold shift. And then drag it down like that. like that and then you can just hold control or command from the Mac and then just remove the rulers like that okay now we're going to go to filter um, stylize and then wind um, then rasterize it and then click OK and click control F F F and then do it uh, stylized wind make sure it's on the right this time or if it's on the right the first time from the left the next time and uh, that, that and what I'm going to do is you click control T or command T from the map and just spin that around uh, just try and get it straight and that and you should bring it out like that okie dokie so there it's got like a nice background effect but then you're gonna add a gradient so what you can do you get a new layer and then go to the gradient tool which is under paper fill and you're gonna make your gradient whatever you want so you can make it like this or I'm gonna choose rainbow because that looks cool and then you're just gonna put it in the middle and hold shift if you feel necessary and then just drag across that and then you're gonna go to this um, little drop down menu here um, yeah so this bit here um, and you're gonna go to click overlay like that. So you'll have a nice background colour. And if you really want you can just change the gradient so like uh, that. So you can just do that. Also if you want, but I prefer the rainbow. Um and then you go to your text tool. Um I'm gonna use what's it called? The scan wall thing. I'm just going to type my YouTube name. So okay, then uh, just enlarge that a tiny bit. Just, just a tiny bit. Center that. So put that. Just going to drag another ruler out. There. So center that. And then I'm going to go to um, blending options. Um, you're gonna take a stroke on it so you can see it better. We're gonna put a color overlay. And you're gonna make it like a nice, maybe light turquoisey. And then you're gonna put bevel and emboss. Make that the biggest size. Actually, make it. What was that? You make it the biggest depth possible, so a thousand percent depth. And then click OK. If you really want to, you can just add it even further by putting maybe a drop shadow in there. That is it. Um, let's get this word off. File, save as, sound effect, I'll save as a JPEG. I'll put that on my desktop. Um, the Facebook, um, and then if you want to, um, you can set a desktop picture of this. So, just wait for this to process this thing. Do do do, and there you have a sound effect desktop. I think that's quite nice. So I'm gonna leave you here, guys, with this. Um, 